Hi guys and welcome to the day one content. It's Monday so we're going to be covering business. Now I've got three presentations, three quick presentations to uh, take you over today and we're going to look at the absolute fundamentals of what we're doing. If you're going to do web design then basically you're in business so we've got to understand what business is and one of my objectives for this course is to get you guys really really sharp about business because we're not just doing this for you to be a better designer we're doing this so that you can be a professional designer if you're going to be professional at anything whether you're working for yourself working for somebody else working in partnership you've got to understand what business is so here's the first screencast for today introduction to business okay so what is business fundamentally what you know we're all familiar with business we do business all the time do we actually know what it is well at the basic level business is trading what you're doing is you're trading one thing for another thing when a trade takes place we call that doing business it's as simple as that so what's a trade a trade is that you give away something in return for getting something else and um, that that trade has to make sense to you it has to be profitable for you and that's fundamentally all this is about the the better the trades are the more trades you can do the better your business is so that's the fundamental secret of trading now a trade can only take place right if you think about it the reason why we trade something is we're giving some we're giving one thing away it might be money so we might go into a store and we might hand over some money in return for a loaf of bread or a bottle of wine now you're only going to do that if the loaf of bread or the bottle of wine is worth more to you at that time than the money that you hand over and this is absolutely fundamental yeah when you do a trade the trade has to make sense to you what you get needs to be worth more to you than what you're giving away now the storekeeper values the money that you give him more than the product that he's selling to you he, he paid less for the product than than you're giving him he's profiting he's getting what he wants which is money you're getting what you want which is bread or wine or whatever it is but you see what you're getting something of a higher value to you than what you're giving away the storekeeper is getting something of higher value to him than what he's giving away and when those things are true when those things happen that's when you get a trade nobody ever trades one thing that is worth more to them in return for something that is worth less to them okay the golden rule of business fundamentally there is only one rule in business according to Peter Drucker now Peter Drucker was um, one of the foremost thinkers in business and economics in the last century he says the golden rule of business is don't run out of cash fundamentally when you run out of money you're out of business and that's it okay now I'm just going to take you quickly through something which we call the business chassis and it's a really really simple model to help you understand how businesses how cash moves through a business and um, and where you get your profit from profit is the only thing that matters in business turnover you know your takings mean nothing you can have a turnover of a million dollars a year if your costs are more than a million dollars a year that's bad business yeah all that matters is the profit that you do and the better the service you can provide the better the trades that you can offer for the people who buy your services the um, the more profitable it should be for you now although profit is everything it's one thing that you cannot actually influence you can't say I'm gonna go out and get some profit today profit is made it's a product of other things and the business chassis is a way of understanding what those other things are okay so here's the business chassis how many leads do you get pure and simple and then you multiply that by 
What's your conversion rate? What's your conversion rate of prospects or leads into customers? Okay, and that gives you the number of customers that your business has. You'll notice that number of leads and conversion rate are in green, whereas number of customers is in red. I'm hoping nobody's colorblind. If you're red, green, colorblind, please tell me no. Please, please let me know and I'll, uh, I'll fix the slides. You can influence the number of leads. You can go out and get leads. You can buy leads from Google AdWords. You can pick up the yellow pages and phone everybody in the yellow pages. It's, it's relatively easy to get leads um, and it's something that you can directly influence. Your conversion rate is also down to you. And how well you do the job of selling is something that you can directly influence. Now, the product of those two things is the number of customers you get. You can't influence that directly. All you can work on is your leads and your conversion. Leads and conversion, and that's where your customers come from. So, for each customer, what's the value of the sale? How many pounds or dollars do you get in an average sale to an average customer? Multiply that again by how many times can you resell to the same customer? This is really, really simple. Now, business is incredibly simple. It's about trading. Um, and most of the most important things in business are really simple. The problem with um, clever people is that we can sometimes think that we have to approach everything in a clever manner and you can overlook the very, very simple things. Now, here's one. One of the simple things is the easiest people to sell to very often are the people that you've sold to before. Now, we've made that mistake in our business for years and years and years. We get a customer, we get excited, we build them a website, we take their money, they go onto a list and we don't contact them again because we're too busy trying to find the next customer. Now, the rule of thumb is it costs seven times more to attract a new customer than it does to close a sale with a previous customer. And we'll talk about this again. Okay, so how many times do you sell to that customer in any given period? Multiply all these things together, your number of customers, how much do you get from a customer, how many times can you sell to a customer, that gives you your turnover, your takings, how much money comes into your business. Now turnover, again, is in red. It's something you can't go out and say, I'm going to go and get me some turnover today. You can't do that. What you can do is you can sell to your customers, you can increase the amount you sell, you can upsell, cross-sell, get people to spend more, and you can get them to buy again. Now you can directly influence those things, the product of those things is your turnover. You can't directly influence your turnover. Multiply your turnover by something you call your profit margin, and that gives you the magic number, which is your profit at the end. So that's the business chassis. There are five things, only five things really in business that you can work on directly. Your leads, your conversion, your value of sale, your repeat sales, and your profit margin. You know, can you cut your costs? And all of that, multiply all of those things together, gives you that magic number at the end, which is your profit.